What's up you guys? So we are back at it. We're not on the water, but we are in the garage. And you guys missed my birthday. Shame on you. But I could not open a few presents without you guys watching and getting to see. The spring sales were amazing this year. So we picked up some stuff at Tackle Warehouse and Bass Pro. And let's get into some of these goodies. There they are. I don't even remember what I got at this point. But we're gonna find out in a minute. So not everything's gonna be super sexy. A lot of this is just restock, back in backups of stuff I use a lot every day. But I got some sexy stuff. I got some stuff I want to try. Some stuff that's a little different, um, and some baits that I use, but I don't have these exact ones. These either the color or the depth they're gonna run. So let's get into it. All right, box number one is from tackle warehouse we gotta have that from becky sue for sure she's not gonna want to see that so cinco's you know i use them everybody uses them a lot they had a sale on these so i always snap them up when they're on sale um, I got some D bombs. They actually had a really good sale on these. Um, the value packs. I can't remember how much they were, but they had a really good, I want to say they were $11.99 for the 25 count pack. So I got some black and blue and I got some green pumpkin. Let's see. I got some white also to use as, I mean, I could flip or sight fish with these. If I want white, and then I can also put these on the back of a chatterbait. Since they were such a good deal, I figured I'd go ahead and get some. So some white, green pumpkin, black and blue. I can use those flipping and pitching and on the back of chatterbaits. And then I got some of these quivers. I wanted to give these a try. I got my two favorite, well, my favorite color, Junebug. And then I got some of this Hibilly Magic. So... Tokyo rig, probably drop shot, and I could also even throw them on Texas rigs. Sometimes you just need something a little bit different. Um, so I thought I'd give these a, a gander. I can't remember. I think they might have been on sale as well. Got some flipping hooks, VMC 5 aught. Try these out. Some more Cinco's, and this is that ghillie suit. I hadn't tried these, but I figured. I give these a little go too. I usually just make keep it basic with green pumpkin, but like I said, they were on sale, so I figured I'd throw in a different color. It's got some good, good color in those. Blue, gold, red. It's an interesting color. Let me know if you guys have used those. And I got some dirty jigs. I think this should be a half ounce or five sixteenth. Half that half ounce. I said I wanted to try some jigs some different swim jigs other than those terminators um, so i got some swim jigs here a tactical shad black and blue and then this is a yellow perch it's more of a natural color black and blue chatterbait i've been throwing the original and i really like the jackhammer so i figured let me get a black and blue one because um, I've been throwing that original black and blue. Got me, here's another pack of D-bombs. My uh, Apopka special. And then, I hadn't seen these up close. This should be the Ridge Worm. Check these out. Six cents. Ridge Worm. Interesting bait. I want to try that on Tokyo rig, Carolina rig, and maybe Texas rig. Don't get very many of these though. So interesting design. It's kind of a flat body. Minnow, and then it's got that flat tail. So sometimes I just won't hit a 10 inch worm. Switch that up. I'll throw it on Carolina rig, like I said, but I'm seeing these pop up on the chain and the leaderboards. So I figure let's go ahead and 
get some while we were already placing an order. And this is Plum Melon Magic. So use that when the water's a little bit clearer. And then I know I got another pack somewhere. All right, that's the first box. All right, what we got in this one? All right, this was Bass Pro. I got some frogs because I was noticing some sexy stuff on a popka. I like the popping one. I think I got a swimming one as well. And they had these on sale at Bass Pro. They were like three for 10 bucks. I got some Rage Swimmers and 3.75. I think I got these for Chatterbait because I want to try to throw some smaller ones as well. Um, but I think I got these for Chatterbait Trailer or Swim Jig Trailer. And then Mag Trick Worms, June Bug. That's usually my go to uh, post spawn. I start using these and in through the summer. All right, and we'll probably have some duplicates in here. Let's get into it. You know, I had to get some more dingers though, because I go through. I mean, I literally when it when they're firing on it, and really, I think that time's passed. Um, I mean, you can go through a 30 pack pretty quick. So I got some more of those, and they were actually cheaper this year at Bass Pro. What I get? Oh, got a Z crawl. I've got some of these in different colors, but I didn't have it in Junebug. Is that Z crawl worm? Throw it on Carolina rig. I think I got green pumpkin and maybe plum. Oh, we got some red bug. It's a really good color this summer. So, but. so here's those ridge worms. It's 10 inch. I got a pack in June bug red. Let me see that. That's pretty sweet. Just got that flat tail. I really think early summer these uh, eels, that's what gets that big worm bite going, is these freshwater eels start spawning. So that's pretty freaking smooth. And a lot of people probably aren't throwing that. The price on them, I probably won't throw them much, but every now and again, you get on that spot where you just need something different or bigger, where they stop biting. So wanted to try those out. Some more dingers. Speed crawl and the sapphire blue. Want to put that? Just a really good color. I know it's a really good Kissimmee color. I don't fish a lot of tannic water, but it's a pretty cool color. Put on the back of a black and blue. So and when that water gets a little more stained in some of these lakes, got a hair jig. I got some old ones, but the all the Feathers are all the hair starting to come out of them. I'm not really crazy about that one. Doesn't look as hairy as I wanted it, but and I don't have a lot of spots for that because most of the lakes I'm fishing just don't have a lot of hard bottom once you get outside the grass. But I needed one, so we got some of these hybrid hunters. They were a few bucks off sale, so yeah, there's my third frog. It's good. Got three, all the same color. I typically will throw black, maybe white, maybe um, not here necessarily, um, orange or chartreuse bottoms, but um, usually black does the best. So that's um, a non popper. If you got a lot of pads on the surface, you got thick pads or you got a lot of stuff on the surface, this thing just runs through, the, through there better. But overall, I like a popper a better. I like the way it swims. and You could swim it, walk the dog with it, or you can pop it. I think I got another hybrid. Maybe not. So anyway, I got that. Um, this is the smooth, the white. I catch a lot of stuff on white. So I wanted to get that white. It's pretty sweet. And it's gray. I like that. Almost like sexy shad. Then here's a uh, green gizzard for a clear water version. Just a little sneakier approach. 
I bought one last year, the big one, and I never threw it. The grass just, a lot of the lakes, the lakes that I plan to use it on, they killed the grass, so it didn't have thick grass. But as it grows back, um, and when they're not, you can switch it between a trap. So they stop hitting the trap around grass. I'm not sure how well this goes through eel grass, but I guess we'll see. I know it'll go through hydrilla and milfoil really good. Well, I got another one, but maybe they took it out. Oh, great. One came out of the box here. There we go. Yeah, I got that um, bad shad or sweet shad. Sweet shad. I like that color. It's probably got a little more pink that I'd want. But this was a bait. This color, this is the one I bought the one ounce in, the big one. Um, so I think that's a probably your best bet overall shad pattern. I really like that white. That's pretty cool. Kind of looks like a crappie in a, crappie a little bit. And then obviously that clear color. Got some yellow for so for stain more stain water overall anyone and then clear water more stealthy oh i got some trailer hooks size four my top water baits i wanted to add these to devil's horse and my chug bugs they've all kind of all the feathers have come off of them i actually have caught like i did really well i've actually caught good fish on them and when you're in shallow water this this feather kind of weights that back end down um, and without that, with just a bare hook, it kind of stayed, it stayed more level. So I kind of liked that, but got some of these to replace that. Got some ball head jigs for the swim baits, three eighths. And I need a, I need a quarter as well, but, um, I've got some quarters and some Buckeye jig heads. They don't have the screw locks though, and they're not round, but bought these for the swim baits. Rage bugs were on sale. So that's why I went that route. So I got these uh, 3.25. Look how small. Like I can also put these on a swim jig as a trailer. Chatterbait possibly too. So we got KVD Magic. Got that green color. Which I really like that. Almost like a... It's the best option, I think, for Tennessee Shad. Um, just your, your basic... Oh, this is Green Gizzard natural actually like this color look the way this color looks a little bit better but it's got the white bottom so kvd magic green gizzard and then just a white pearl flash it's hard to go wrong with white i thought i got some tennessee shads but they must have not had them or must have taken it off my order uh, another bag of red bug and then I got some OG slims which were probably past that but citrus shad I love that color I love that color actually coming up and the water gets a little bit it'll tend to get a little bit as we get rain and stuff it'll get a little dirtier and I like to use that good summertime color and then this color right here is just is just sweet. That's the hot copper green shad. I think I got the the one that has the white already, so I went ahead and got this one for dirtier water. A lot of that hair's chain water is pretty dirty. So OG Slims. So I got some six sixteen DT sixteens. I know I had more of these, and the colors kind of disappeared. That Helsinki, I love that color. Kind of like your um, basic sexy shad kind of deal. 16 so i got a lot of dt 10s i got some dt 20s i've kind of skipped that middle area but a lot of the grass i'm finding on these lakes that was kind of topping out at 10 starting to move into that 13 range so to get on the outside edge you got to be in 13. like i said also by the time you get out there don't have the hard bottom but there is hard bottom in some of these areas um and and i specifically one lake out and around that 16 area 16 foot area they kind of stage and hold out there before they move up into the grass so i wanted that 16 just a good depth that i don't really have you know 15 
like a 15 is kind of your ideal if you're getting something that's going to cover you from 10 feet and then you want something around 15 to cover that 14 range wasn't well, going to get dt 14s when i can just get 16 and cover both so we get that that's the penguin i didn't realize that was black i thought it was blue yeah it's black this colors are really hard to determine sometimes in there these are that one's not an ike this is an ike it's kind of interesting i mean that eye is clear as day but then this one's all faded out come on rapala get your act together and then we got green gizzard probably one of my favorite colors in their lineup especially for florida i don't usually blue is not usually the way i go down here um, more of Alabama, Tennessee. Blue works really good, but this green seems to do really good down here. So, had to pick me up some of these. Just hearing a lot of stuff on these. Hank Cherry, obviously, legit on this bait. So, Berkeley Stunna, their jerk braid. Really cool colors here. The Stealth Shad, he uses a lot. I think he, I think he won up in Gunnersville on that bait. Or maybe it was this one. But um, I think my guy that won at Okeechobee was using this exact color when he won the most recent Bass Masters. So yeah, that's the 112 plus one. And this color is Hanky Panky. So it's got a little bit of yellow on the bottom. White with yellow. I figured this would be my starting point clear water a little more stained water like hair's chain that could be potentially really good but that's your more natural kind of sexy sad pretty much sexy sexy chad what do these dive to it's four and three eighths inch slow sinking six to ten feet hmm i don't know what size line you'd need to get that to ten feet probably ten pound fluorocarbon still i think that would be stretching it but you know let me know how deep you guys usually get these you know i'm running 12 mono i'm thinking about going to 10 mono or 15 fluorocarbon with my jerk baits because i just in florida you try to hit a weed line a grass line you're going to get in that grass at times and it's just a risky situation around here so there we go that is it we got through all of it and there you have it guys how b -Maz just spent a small fortune on fishing lure during a during the spring sale but i hope that helps you give you a little few ideas about what i'm going to be using i'll keep you guys posted in the videos um, as i use them as i catch fish on them you know most of these will not be something i'll throw every day but we'll definitely talk about them i'll let you know what i think and which ones work really excited to get out and work some of these hybrid hunters though um, heard a lot of good stuff there'll be something i can use pretty regularly in addition to a trap which is my favorite bait if you didn't watch that last video that's all i got to say i appreciate you guys watching if you have any questions let me know and we will see you next time on b mass fishing we out